Hello my friends, welcome again. In this video we are going to work with the Laravel views and uh, for that I have installed a new Laravel application and uh, inside this application I have created uh, a board page and the users directory inside that on index page and inside the controllers I have created a new user controller and inside this we just fetch all the users we just grab all the users and pass it into the users index here and inside the web PHP we register the route for the view about and when the get uh, users we as the user controller and the method index. Okay, if I go now to the block test, so this is the welcome page. Hello from welcome page. Okay, and if I refresh and if I make a change here, refresh. Okay, sure enough. If I go now to the about. We have a, a about page. If I go to the users, hello from users index page. Okay, and uh, I want to show you. I created this for quick to show you quick. Uh, so we have close this, close this one. So we have the welcome page, about page, and index page. And if you see here, we have we have the same code here, the same code here, and the same here. We just make a change inside the body. Here we will make change here, and so in three pages we have the same thing, but we just make changes inside the body. So better in Laravel is uh, to create a master page and extend that met master page here it's working with the uh, layouts so i have created this i have created a new directory called layouts and inside this i have created a new app blade php and I put everything the welcome blade have and just tell the well yield content. So here is going to be the content. So if, if I come here and uh, extend uh, layouts dot up. So extend is mean to grab all of this. So grab all of this and extend it here inside this page. Okay, and now inside this yield content, we specify where the changes are going to make, where the content is going to put here. So if I go now section and the name of the section is content and I put h1 this is welcome page and we end the section if I save and go now to the here, well, this is a welcome page. So we have no duplicated code like this. We are nice and beautiful. Okay, so I'm just copy this and do the same thing in about page. Just change this to about save. And if I go to about, this is a about page. 
and if we inspect this we have HTML tag we have the head and we have the h1 this is about page okay and the same thing for the welcome we, we have the HTML the head tag and the body where is this and uh, I'm just going to do the same thing with this and this is users index page if I go now to the users yeah this is users index page so this is more useful if we have multiple pages and those don't want to put in all the pages that had all the HTML tags we can do more things for example here we can uh, yield a title and if I save now and go to welcome just yield section uh, title and the title is uh, welcome if I save and go uh, you see here welcome okay here and if I go inside the head title is welcome and uh, we made same thing with about about page save if I go now to about about page over okay and inside the index I'm just going to show users save and users users here and uh, now I want to show you the blade directives so inside the Laravel documentation basics we have the blade directives here and displaying data with SMD and static encoding blade and JavaScript frameworks so blade directives if, if statement if switch loops the loop variable comments subviews ons so uh, you may display the contents of the name variables like so so hello and the name double call braces and then variable here so i have created a database and connect with the blog with laravel and here i just show you in previous video so I name it blog and here we have the blog database and I migrated and I add 10 uh, users because I want to show you here so inside the controllers I have user user all import the user here and put it in the view users now inside this if I go here and I think we have the uh, directives okay 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 loops so yeah and we have the user here we we'll loop the variable I just copy one copy this and inside this is just going to show I don't need if is first but I'm going to leave this just to show you now go to the users and this is user one so we make a 
loop for the users for each users as user and if the loop is first so if the user is first this is first uh, user and this is last user for example and here we display the user this is user with a ID of the user ID and name double curly braces the name and if I save a refresh here uh, oh sorry not the name but user name huh? my mistake and the negative this is the user with ID of one and name the name of the user okay and uh, you have many options here loop index iteration loop remaining count so if I do here sorry uh, loop count and save refresh we have the number of the count of the loop and it's 10 and I display it I just got it here and if it's the last one or if it's the first one you have to display save and we just display it here okay This is the first user, this is the count of the user, and uh, the comment, this is how you can comment, include, include subviews, maybe you want to include some uh, blade or view, and uh, each view name job, so push boolean layouts so this is boolean layout but layout using using components and uh, for components I'm going to create an, a new video and in the future and tell you what so with components we have the X to define the components but using template the layouts was using template inheritance is this just we created so we created an HTML inside layouts app and here the content here the sidebar here but it's the same thing okay so extend the layout and section title page title this is the title and the, and the page title is the default you can do that and that's it for the video hope you enjoyed it enjoy it and if you like uh, subscribe to my channel for the more video like this and uh, view js and live wire thank you and see you in the next video